All right. Hello, my name is Will Davis from Knoxville, Tennessee. I'm going to show you how to tie the packing foam merger. It's a fly I came up with that uses this closed cell packing foam as the parachute post. And what's cool about that is that means you can use a soft hackle as the hackle around the parachute and it'll still float pretty well. Um, so first thing I've got is I've got a Daiichi 1167. It's just their Daiichi cling hammer hook. Um, I like it a lot. Uh, that's just the hook that I first tied it on. Uh, so that's the one that I've always used. Um, and I've got, this is A dot olive thread. So I'm going to start right about where the hook point is. And then snip off my thread. And so I'm going to get, this is mid crystal flash and it's pearl. And so I'm going to get about, about four or five strands of it, just because it's pretty thin stuff. And I'm going to use all but one of these strands as a little tailing chuck on the fly, and then one strand to rib the body. So you can tie them all in at once, which makes it pretty convenient. And so I'm going to start those. I want that body to be pretty thin. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start those down the body without an under base of thread under them. Just keep that body nice and thin. I'm going to go right about to there. You, know, you want to leave some of that hook left. And then I'm going to take this is Nature Spirit uh, Blue Winged All of uh, Fine Dubbing. It's basically super fine dubbing. I just like it. This, I just got this offline, happened to see it. I like this color too. It's really good color. And so I'm going to get some of, some of that. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to dub that pretty tight. That's actually way too much. I'm going to try and get that as tight as I can. You can always add more to start with less. I'm going to try and get that dubbed on there as tight as I can. Just two and a half, three inches to start. And I'm going to start dubbing up that body, touching turns. And I'll need some more. Need some more. And I'm gonna advance the dubbed body to probably just a little bit behind where I started my thread. So just about, well, probably probably past the hook point, just a little bit. We're already at the hook point. You want to leave some space up top for the parachute post, though. So I'm going to lay a little base of thread right there, get that fuzz off. So now what I can do is I can take one of these strands that I'm using as a tailing chuck, and I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to counter wrap that over top of the dub body. And the reason why I'm counter wrapping that is mainly just so it sets up on top of the dubbing and doesn't sink down in between those wraps so you can see it pretty well. I'm just going to do five or six wraps up that body. Tie that off. And then now I'm going to get all those pieces down there and cut them off about, I don't know, a quarter of an inch, about like that. So now I've got the body done. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of that foam and I'm going to cut a rectangle about a quarter of an inch wide. And just make sure it's long enough that you can double it over and still be able to tie it in. So I want it to be in about an inch and a half long. And then I'm going to fold it over so it's like that, got a loop. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie that in where about a quarter, a third of an inch is extending past the tie-in point. And the trick with this is you can't pull down on it really hard, especially with this dot thread. You'll cut right through it. And so that's just barely, barely secured on there. And the trick is you got to do some wraps on just the hook and then come back and do a few more wraps. And that's still not secured super well. But what I do is then I come in here and I snip off the butts. 
and then I can really crank down on what's left because you can't really cut that out super flush. And so you can come in and really tie in tight on that extra part. And so now I've got that little, it's almost like a bubble right there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, this is a brown uh, hen saddle. I'm just going to take, I screwed that one up. I'm going to take a feather and I'm going to prepare it just like any other soft tackle feather. So what I'm going to do is I'll just find the end of that feather and pull it down so I'm left with a little triangle there. And then what I'm going to do is I'll snip off and make that a little bit smaller just so it's easier to tie in about like that. Then what I'm going to do is right Right there where the post meets the hook is where I'm going to tie that in on my side, that little triangle. Just make sure it's in there nice and tight. So then now I'm going to hold that up and just kind of sweep those back just like you're tying a sock tackle. And then I'm going to take it and I'm going to do two to three wraps. Two is probably good around that post. And then I'm going to come under and try to make sure I'm staying under all those just like any parachute fly. And I'm going to tie that off and again you got to be careful you don't cut through that. So be gentle with those wraps and then pull that back. Leave my thread there. Now I'm going to cut off the end. So now what I can do is start kind of preening those up. So then I'm going to take, this is SLF spiky squirrel dubbing, and this is the brown color. And I'm going to take some of that, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to dub that on just normal, and I'm going to wrap that under all that hackle so that it'll kind of set up upwards towards the sky a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure I'm pruning that up and I'm going to get under that, like that, I'm going to do a few wraps under, so now you can see that's starting to set up, and I'm going to bring my thread to my side, and then I'm going to get some more, and now that those are up and kind of out of the way, I can finish dubbing that thorax, because under that fly right now, the actual hook hasn't been covered up, I've just dubbed a circle around it. So I'm going to get some more of that dubbing. Now I can actually dub the thorax like that. It makes that tight little bundle that's forcing all those fibers up, just like that. So now, this fly would be pretty tricky to whip finish. So what I do is I just come and I do a series of half hitches just right there by the eye. So I'll start with just a few single, just normal half hitches, just two or three, and then I'll do, I usually do, let me get some more thread, I do, I'll do two double half hitches. There's one, and there's two. And all you got to do is put some head cement on there and you're good. Wow.